Life on the sea has always fascinated many people. The sun, the water, the boat, everything just spells out exotic. And while spare me the details when there are vlogs that showcase this amazing life for us to cherish and sometimes envy, this video is dedicated to the channel sailing good, bad, and ugly. In this video, we're going to talk about the creators and their amazing life. Make sure to watch until the end. Living on the sea as a guest might be the best way to spend your vacation, but living your life on a boat for your entire life is a commitment most of us would not want to make. Living on a boat is a different kind of vibe from a home drifting on the sea. It's a journey and you're taking your home with you. Matt and Kristen are creators behind the famous channel Sailing Good, Bad and Ugly, and they're some of the most honest creators out there, and they don't mind posting their life no matter how good it is or how hard they might get at times. They've been actively sailing for the past 3 years and I don't know if they're gonna ever get seasick, but hey, if it works, it works. They bought a sailboat and used up most of their savings to live on it while they were at their professional jobs, and soon they knew exactly what was the next step. They started living on the boat and started their journey full-time traveling and they put down their suit and traded them for a trunk and swimsuits. They're also very skilled in martial arts, well, the self-defense clause is solved here, and well, in the end, all that matters is that they're happy, and I'm glad they invited us to their amazing lifestyle. Originally from Florida, Kristen and Matt, Matt has a history of installing pools and he has a lot of skills when it comes to carpentry, steel works, concrete jobs, and plumbing. Those make him a very capable and self-reliant man. Matt bought his first boat about a decade ago and after passing a marina, he pondered upon the idea of living on a boat and he said, and I quote, that it is cool. Well, Kristen on the other hand completed the puzzle by her being able to film everything and make good videos of the entire process. Well, nobody said it was easy. They knew what they'd signed up for and before their fame as social media influencers, they did a lot of remote work before they came into the limelight. They're no strangers to Miami and Key West as they used to work on the beaches as bartenders. They were working double time as bartenders and manifesting their popularity on YouTube. They're blessed. They're the type of people who live in the now and cherish their present rather than thinking about their future or the past for that matter. They're slowly upgrading their sailboat, which is their home, and they admit they're living a comfortable life ever since they upgraded to a Life PO4 system. Living on a boat is hard when it comes to power. You can connect your boat to a power grid, but with that system in place, they could successfully accommodate necessities like a place to charge or anything that needs power to work. They took it slow and one step at a time, and they might sometimes have to compensate for the air conditioning, but that's okay. Nothing beats the view. The boat was a whole other project and restoring it took longer than it should have. They say that the painting alone took more than a month. They bought the 1979 Hunter 37C monohull sailboat for $5,000 and they had to improvise everything that they needed while necessities were a luxury, but they're getting there. They joined YouTube on the 28th of April 2018 and made their first upload about 3 years ago and in 3 years they've managed to gain and cater to a massive fan following of about 155,000 subscribers with more than 200 videos under their name. With 3.1 million views, they've come a long way and were always in for the ride. They're free and that's beyond measures but yeah, they have a net worth of about 250 grand. They get more than 27,000 views per day which means that they can easily make about $100 per day and on a good week they might get about $800 making their monthly income about 4 grand. They make money from other sources like brand sponsorships and Patreon and they're minimalists so I'm sure they aren't worried about it too much. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more and don't forget the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one.